This table has times that are race results for three different teams. I'm going to build a pivot table from this data and we'll see a problem that occurs when you put time into a pivot table. So first to build the pivot table, I'll select any cell here, go into the Insert tab, Pivot Table. It has selected my table, we can see in the background. I would like this on an existing sheet, so I'll click and click a starting cell and OK. For the pivot table, I want the ID field in, so that's the team ID letter, and I want the time, so I'm going to put that into the values. It's showing up as a count of the time, and I would like it as the max. So I'll right click, summarize values by max. So it's showing the maximum time. I don't want it in this general format. I'm going to put it into a time format. I'll right click, value field settings, and in here I'll go to a number format, time, and I would like the tenths of a second to show, so I'll select this time and click OK. I'll click OK again, and there are the times. But instead of showing this time as point two or point three, whichever way it's going to round it, it's just showing a zero here. It's not showing us the numbers that are the tenths or the hundredths of a second. To fix this problem in a pivot table, there is a workaround that you can use. I'm going back to the source data and I'm going to put in another column here, so I'll click where I want the heading, I'll call this time calc. When I press enter, it automatically expands the table to include that column. And in this cell, I'm just going to link to the original time formula, so equals, and click on cell C2. That's the time field, or you could type equals C2 if you'd rather have a cell reference. Press enter, and it fills down. Now this is general format, and that's the way we're going to leave this. Over here, we can see that there's a custom time format, and that's what's causing the problem in our pivot table. Now I'm going to refresh the pivot table so that it understands we've got a new field. Right click and refresh, and here's our time calc field. So I'll put that into the values area, and it shows up in that general format. Now I'm going to use the same format that we tried to use here. Right click, Value Field Settings, go into Number Format, and in here I'll go to Time, I'll pick the same format we tried to use before, click OK, OK, so let's change that to Max, and now we've got the 5 minutes, 15 seconds, and now it's showing correctly, instead of the zero, we're getting the tenths of a second here. So once you've got the new field working correctly, you could take out the old field. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.